Hi, hello, and welcome to a little video I wanted to do, um, talking about some changes that I think would be good to make to Pyramid Head, Executioner, um, the killer in DVD. Obviously, everybody kind of loves him from Silent Hill. It's great to have him in the game, absolutely. And he's actually one of the better killers in the game, and I don't think that he's in a terrible spot, but I think he could be made a lot better and quite a bit more interesting to play and to play against a little bit. So currently, his anti-loop and his ability to tunnel is really what puts him towards the higher end of DVD killers. His anti-loop ability is quite strong, and it does help him a lot getting quick downs. It makes him a threat in pretty much any loop, any tile that he comes across. Um, and his ability to tunnel with the cages makes him quite deadly to get survivors out of the game quite quickly if he does it correctly with the torment. But I think that this should be changed. I don't think that his strength should come from his ability to tunnel because if you don't tunnel with him, his strength goes down drastically. And it's very disappointing, right? I don't think that that should be a designing factor of the killer because it's not very fun gameplay for either side, in my opinion. Um, I have a couple suggested changes that I, I think would make him a lot more interesting to play and to play against and take away the tunneling aspect completely, but still keep him quite strong and a decent killer and viable to play. Firstly, his anti-loop, I think, is pretty perfect. I, I think that it's quite deadly. It has some quirks. It has some things here and there. I think that um, it, it sadly kind of benefits the killer more not to use it that much and to wait for animation locks um and only really use it as a mind game type of thing right is that oh i have the power so put yourself in a bad situation so that i don't actually have to use it and i don't personally like that a whole bunch but i don't think it's a necessarily a bad thing that needs to be changed that's just a personal preference i would rather i like to play killers where i'm using my ability all the time constantly so it feels very unique but I think that him having the ability makes his looping unique. Um, so even if you don't use the power, it feels quite beneficial to have it and makes him quite a threat in any loop just because there's the threat of him using the power. I think that uh, for the survivors, it's quite good to loop against him because if you make a right read, his animation canceling time is quite long. And so you can bait out his power. And if you bait it out successfully, you get rewarded for it. But if you fail, then he gets a nice hit as long as he can hit his shots with the snipe. I think that overall the anti-loop is pretty good. I, I really don't think it needs anything. Um, I do think that one change would be really nice. So currently, when he does uh, go into his power, he leaves a trail behind him, and this trail triggers killer instinct. Now, the main reason for this is... Well, I think there is two main reasons, and one of them I think is really good, which is that it provides info. If people run over his trails, they get killer instinct. No matter where you are on the map, you get this killer instinct so you can get some info on where they are. I think that's really well designed. I think it's cool, the fact he can leave those trails. Um, I will touch on that a little bit in in a little bit where I um, talk about the add-ons. But, because um, I think a little bit extra could be nice there. Um, the other thing is that I think they initially designed it um, so that you can leave a trail. And when survivors run over it, they trigger kill instincts. So you can get some snipes through the wall. Sadly, this doesn't work because Killer Instinct is slightly behind the survivor at all times. The survivor obviously knows that you have Killer Instinct, and it's quite hard to actually hit those shots. It's not very consistent, and not only does it take skill, but it takes in incredible just prediction on where the survivor is going to go because you don't see where they are, you see where they were, which is kind of frustrating, especially because the survivor knows that you can see them, right? So I don't think it really works in that scenario. Um, I think that it's a cool idea to use his power on loops with walls. And that's where my next idea comes in. I think that when you're in close range of somebody standing on Rites of Torment, whenever they're standing on it, their aura is shown for maybe just while they're standing on it or maybe for one second, right? So that way, if they, you know, dance off and on of it, then they keep their aura kind of stays the entire time instead of flickering in and out because that'll be quite you know, shitty for gameplay. I think that this will make it so that when he's against a loop that has walls, he can leave a trail, right? It's a little bit of a setup kind of thing, right? Compared to the other setup killers, where he's kind of setting up on the loop to be able to hit you through the wall. And you have to keep this in mind if you want to keep looping it efficiently. Or you can loop it inefficiently, 
and then there's a mind game all of a sudden, you know what I mean? Is he going to go for the ability? Should I loop it efficiently? Or should I loop it inefficiently and dodge the ability? Or is he going to fake out and just loop it efficiently and catch up to me if I try to, you know, not stand on the, the chains, right? The trails. So I think that's a great idea for a change to make it so that he has a little bit more power on loops where he can't see the survivors and it's not just a complete guessing game, right? But it also takes him a little bit of time to set it up. So it's not just, you know, super free, but the killer instinct sadly just doesn't work at close range. I think you should keep the killer instinct at long range, but at close range, a nice little aura reading effect would be really cool. Um, but second thing, uh, continuing on from the torment, I really think that it should stick around longer. Um, you can put on add-ons to make it stick around longer, and it makes it feel a lot more cool to be laying all these trails down. And because of how much dur like duration of the ability you have, um, it's not like super easy to lay all these trails down, and they disappear so quickly that I really feel like it'd be interesting um, game slowdown because people would have to crouch over it if you leave it in really like interesting areas where they have to cross back and forth all the time on different maps. And it would also be interesting plays to get info from it, um, leaving it in specific locations. So you can get that killer instinct, know where they are across the map. I really think it should last longer. Um, now, you might say, oh, well, you don't really want it to last longer because that shit's quite dangerous because he can tunnel you. But as I talked about, I think that should be changed, and I have an idea on how. Um, talking about add-ons, though, there is some decent add-ons, like the duration ones. Um, it just, you know, longer duration is cool. Let's be honest, though, most of it add-ons are pretty shit. He has some of the worst add-ons out of any killer. Um, the only ones anybody really uses is the range add-ons, and I really think that those need to be made a little bit base kit. Not both of them, mind you, because one of them is 1.5 meters and one of them is 1 meter. I don't think that both of them need to be made base kit, because when you combine both of them, it's a little bit overkill. But if you have tried to play Pinhead without any range add-ons, it feels like shit. It does not feel nice. Um, you need at least one of them, in my opinion. I think that making his base kit range like one meter longer would go a long way to make him feel nicer and not feel like you need to use any add-ons at all. So the add-ons can be what they're supposed to be, an augment to your ability, right? Something extra you slap on top, not something needed to make your ability actually feel good. Um, so the rest of his add-ons honestly could use a complete rework, but I'm not going to go into each add-on in this. This is an overall base kit power thing. Um, but touching on the add-ons, just, they're all shit, to be honest. They have some of the worst add-ons in the game uh, when it comes to killers. It's really disappointing add-ons. So I think they all really could be use a rework to get more interesting and just, like, more powerful. Like, they're just all really lame, to be honest. They're either not good or just not interesting. Um, so, but add-ons aside, um, and the aura reading aside, obviously... And I think Torment lasting a little bit longer. And a little bit of range to the base kit. The main thing, the last main thing that I really think he could do with is a complete change to how the Torment works. So recently on a PTB, uh, well not a complete change to be fair, that's a bit much. It's not a complete change, just a decent change. So recently on a PTB they tested out him applying Torment when he hits you with his ability. And... They tried this. I think it's a great change, but they got rid of it, and I understand why. It's a good step in the right direction, but they only put in one step, right? So it's like it's like they took one step, and obviously they stayed in a dangerous position instead of completing all the steps and getting across. It's like it's like a train track, right? They stopped in the middle of the train track instead of getting to the other side, which obviously not a very good place to stop. Um, because now he can apply torment to everybody and then tunnel them super easily, right? Which is not what you want. Because right now, if he wants to tunnel you, you have to play this game against him, right? This cat and mouse of, you know, dodging the torment, right? Um, and that's, you know, wastes a lot of his time and you can avoid getting tunneled by avoiding the torment, right? So, you, you know, your teammates have time to do the gen, so he can't really tunnel effectively. But when he can just apply it with his right click, that obviously isn't a thing. So, they didn't go all the way. I think that his right click should apply Torment every time it gets a hit. But, you need to make it not useful for tunneling anymore. And this is my idea. I think that cages should stay as they are right now. But, the main thing is that when you cage a survivor, it should not go to as far away from the pyramid head as possible. This is how it currently works, if anybody doesn't know. It goes to as far as of a point 
from the pyramid head as possible. So the pyramid head can know where that survivor is by triangulating, hey, I'm on this side of the map, they're gonna be on the other side of the map and then go over there, right? And that's how he can tunnel so effectively. What it should do instead, and this will serve as a double purpose, is it should spawn as far away from all of the other survivors as possible, sort of like Pinhead's box does. So that way it forces the survivors to get off of their gens, get off of their little cozy spots, run across the map, right? Waste that time and save the survivor, right? So it effectively does create um, game slowdown and rewards the killer for getting hits with his ability, which is a lot harder than getting hits with M1 sometimes. So I think that that would be a great change. And it would mean that without a lot of info or good game sense the pyramid head is not gonna know where that survivor in the cage went to and i think that honestly if he had some of these other changes and the game was pushed more towards like hooks and stuff the you wouldn't need um the noise notification to know where the uncaged un survivor was i think that that's a bit of a unneeded thing as well you could get rid of that um because you already slowed the game down so much by somebody going over there you know what i mean and obviously the person that got out of the cage doesn't have any protection from being on a hook i think that should stay i don't think that cages should be considered hooks because it creates really interesting gameplay where they're not getting these bonuses right a lot of the perks don't work with pyramid head and that's really cool in my opinion right pyramid head has to make this choice of his perks it's a lot more interesting to choose perks on him and restrictive sometimes which i think is cool because he's getting something else out of his cages which is a lot of speed usually right so cages will now speed you up by not having you carry to the hook avoid sabotaging and um flashlight saves pallet saves and all this stuff but you have to get hits with your ability to actually get it which you know rewards the killer for actually hitting his ability and it also slows down the other survivors because they have to go and save but you aren't going to get that information from it you aren't going to get any perks from it neither those survivors to be fair but they don't really need any of their perks from it and he can be feel benefited from actually caging survivors because right now you rarely want to cage survivors i also think that um uh, torment should not be cleansed if you uncage a cage survivor i don't think that that's needed um i think it's a little silly that you can cleanse your torment because right now it's so hard to torment survivors maybe if you're hitting people with the right click and that applies torment then you know cleansing your torment by untormenting somebody else would be fine then um you'd have to test it though but that that could be removed that could be removed um or it could be kept um I think that would have to be tested a little bit but i think that pyramid head is actually not in a bad spot but i think that these changes would make him a lot more fun and a lot less reliant on tunneling to have his strength so to speak i really don't think he needs to tunnel to be a strong killer if these changes were implemented and he could you know feel a bit more satisfying to play against and feel a bit more fun and interactive right um and i think that his ability would feel more uh impactful and just interesting i guess is the main thing but i think that's about it honestly i really don't think he needs that much i think he's quite close to being a good killer i think that those things that i talked about would really tune him up to being in a great spot um and he'd be in a great spot obviously these are just ideas and um i am just one player i, I like to think that i know the game decently but i am not obviously you know all seeing and know everything um, and a lot of these these ideas, these suggested changes, these theory crafting ideas, you don't know how they're going to play out when they actually get put into the game, right? You don't know, um, or if they get put into the game, because um, they probably won't. And I know that this probably won't amount to anything, but I like to put those out ideas out there, start the conversation, right? And get people thinking about how the game could be better and uh, how these killers could be made better, how Survivor could be made better, just how the game overall could be made better. So these are my ideas to uh, change up Pyramid Head, make him a little bit, a little bit better, um, in just all ways. Um, if you enjoyed the video and you thought these ideas sounded good, or you have ideas of your own, leave a comment down below what you think. I like to hear about what other people think um, and other ideas. I love this kind of theory crafting and thought that goes into games like this. Thinking about ideas, changes uh, that can make the game better, you know, improve the game overall. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed, 
Um, you can subscribe for future videos. So you can check out my Twitch stream. I stream pretty much every single day over at twitch.tv slash gamertie108. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And hopefully you have a good rest of your day. Peace.